Hello, my beautiful friends. And all of you have been requesting again that I show you how to take care of hyperpigmentation of the lips, which is very difficult to treat. The reason is the lips are highly innervated. They contain the basal layer of the lip, lip skin under the microscope, very, very rich in melanocytes. So a lot of pigment cells. You don't want to be putting acids, retinoic acid, strong retinols, really, really harsh scrubs on your lips. Please, no. So guys, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush, my face brush. You all know that I love my Shiseido face brush. I don't really go for those mechanical machines and those things because they really sometimes can damage your barrier. So I like this. It's a silicone brush with a little bit of bristles. As you can see, the silicones here. Hmm? Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. I've been using this all my life for more than 25 years. And I use the same brush for my lip area. So what do I do? I take this and then I'm going to apply a little bit of sugar on it. So some sugar on the brush. And I wet the brush, put some sugar. Mm, lightly exfoliate my lips. And then wash my lips. And that's it. So gentle exfoliation with fine sugar. Fine sugar exfoliation is mild. The sugar, the little granules are just going to mildly, you know, exfoliate your lips because you don't want acid exfoliation on your lips. No, no, no. Then you want to wash your lips. So you can exfoliate. You can use this. This is my favorite product for lips. It is the Squalene Cleanser by Ordinary. So I like it because it does not irritate my lips. It does not, uh, they don't make it, uh, they, this doesn't make it tight and stinging. So I love the squalene cleanser for my lips by Ordinary. Next, I know that I'm very careful with you guys. You know that. I do not want to tell you to put L-ascorbic acid, retinols, arbutin, kojic acid. I know they're very popular, but not on the lips because... There have been reports with arbutin especially and with kojic acid, but especially arbutin because you asked about arbutin. It does cause in some people paradoxical hyperpigmentation. What that means is that you are using it for hyperpigmentation, but when you apply arbutin, it will actually result in hyperpigmentation. So it's the opposite effect. You don't want that. So avoid all of these for your lips. So my beautiful friends, what am I going to do too? take care of the hyperpigmentation of lips because I don't want anything harsh on the lips. Very thin skin, very thin, very vascular, highly pigmented, not to be messed with. So I'm gonna take niacin. So this is one that I formulated. It's got zinc, it's got some moisturizers, and it's got niacin. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to mix it with something. I am gonna take a drop of niacin. So here we go, guys. One drop of niacin. And I'm going to mix it with what? I'm going to mix it with hyaluronic acid because I want to plump my lips. Multimolecular hyaluronic acid. And I'm going to mix it with a vitamin C derivative. The one that I like, which is really, really brightening, is silicium and uh, uh, ascorbic acid. This is very non-irritating. Beautiful. So this is one in my chemical botanic. And I am going to just mix it. Take one pump of that. Mix the two together. So niacin and zinc and hyaluronic acid and vector C and apply it to my lip area. Do this two times a day. Multimolecular uh, hyaluronic acid, uh, ascorbic acid derivative, niacin and zinc. And remember, this is stabilized vitamin C, so there is no issue, no issue with niacin because this is not L ascorbic acid pure. It's salicylium stabilized, the pH is fine. No issues, no interactions. So there we go. Okay. What am I going to do now? I want to lock in that beautiful hyaluronic acid, the zinc, and my brightening vitamin C derivative. I'm going to lock it in. Either I'm going to use my favorite Avene. So this is the Avene Care for Sensitive Lips. 
beautiful. I love this. So either I'm going to use this, okay, and my serums are locked in, or I'm going to use this. This is natural moisturizing factors. I'll show you. Take a bit, little bit, and just hmm? to lock the serum in. And if it's winter, you have cracked lips, eczematous lips, sore lips, lips that are really irritated. This is beautiful. I love, love, love this. I love the Ultra Balm. It's just an amazing thing because it contains shea butter. It contains Centella Asiatica. It contains Jojoba Esters. It contains licorice. It contains... And mm, it's just like butter. It's beautiful. So, mm -mm. that feels like heaven. I absolutely love this for my lips. Then what I'm going to do is actually smile. So that is a very safe method for treating hyperpigmentation of sensitive lips. So you're going to take your niacin, okay? So guys, you're gonna take your niacin and zinc. You're gonna take a drop of multimolecular hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. If you don't find this one, you can go for ascorbic glucoside. Just be careful because it's a 12%. Sometimes lock it in with this this vein or my favorite this so try it you need to be consistent use it every single day twice a day you will notice that your hyperpigmentation is slowly going to fade love all of you